this is just awesome. Now, what you're looking at, especially looking at the, what is it, right-hand corner, of my right-hand corner at the upper part, is the difference between a sham group uh, and a group using a device in which it creates what's called high resistance inspiratory muscle strength training. It's like a breathing exercise. Now, what you're looking at right there is, is the brachial artery flow mediated dilation. After six weeks, no drugs, just using a medical device, which helps strengthen the breathing muscles. And that is just awesome. Now, keep in mind, too, I know we're going to look at more at the blood pressure lowering effects, but still, this breath, or I should say breath training, had so many dimensions of benefit in reference to the outcome. It is literally just awesome as well as awe-inspiring. With that in mind, let us get right into the research as follows. Five-minute workout lowers blood pressure as much as exercise and drugs. Now, an added dimension to this is primarily the short amount of time required in order to train the breathing muscles. In this case, the study was five minutes uh, a day uh, for six days during the week. So you're looking at it from an aspect where people that may be bedridden, wheelchair, or just cannot get out and exercise can basically yield themselves incredible endothelial uh, function as far as the vascular system. Uh, as you just saw the, the uh, brachial, brachial artery flow mediated dilation uh, chart prior, which just means it helps the blood vessels constrict and you know, contract and expand and so on and so forth. Just five minutes a day, six days a week, anybody can do it. That is the wonder. And this is why we're covering the research as follows. So without further ado, let's get right into the research. Five minute workout lowers, as I said before. Five minute workout lowers blood pressure as much as exercise drugs. Strength training for breathing muscles holds promise for host of health benefits. Working out. I don't even want to really refer to it as working out, but just say breathing exercises. Working out, you're going to associate with the gym. But I really want to emphasize, even though I'm getting a device for myself, not as expensive as the unit that they utilize, but still I'm getting one similar because I was so impressed by the benefits. But think of it just as breathing exercise, not to say you go into a gym. In my case, I want to upgrade my performance and I'm hoping something like this can help obtain that goal. Working out just five minutes a day, breathing exercises, via a practice described as strength training, strength training for your breathing muscles, lowers blood pressure and improves some measures of vascular health as well, or even more than aerobic exercise or medication, a new CU Boulder research shows. The study published June 29th in the Journal of American Heart Association, we'll have the links in the DOI citation as well uh, for the medical professionals, provides the strongest evidence yet that the ultra time efficient maneuver, I mean, just five minutes, known as high resistance, the British and spiratory, a U.S. inspiratory muscle strength training, otherwise known as I M as in Mary, S T as in Tom, developed in the 1980s as a way to help critically ill respiratory disease patients strengthen their diaphragm and other inspir now I'm saying inspiratory, inspiratory breathing muscles. I M S T involves inhaling vigorously through a handheld device which provides resistance. I'm not mentioning any names because I'm not into promotion of, uh, of other medical devices or products per se, but I'll show you the device towards the methods uh, in discussion on the full research article towards the end. Basically, IMST involves inhaling vigorously through a handheld device which provides resistance. Imagine sucking hard through a tube that sucks back. Initially, when prescribing it for breathing disorders, doctors recommend a 30 minute per day regimen uh, at low resistance. But in recent years, according to the researchers, have been testing whether a more time efficient protocol, 30 inhalations, I mean, you have to do it anyways, per day at high resistance, six days per week could also reap cardiovascular and cog cognitive and sports performance benefits as well. After six weeks, 
six weeks. This, this gets amazing. Here, here we go. After six weeks, the MIST group saw their systolic blood pressure, the top number, dip nine points on average. A reduction which generally exceeds that achieved by walking 30 minutes a day, a five days a week. That decline is also equal to the effects of some blood pressure lowering drugs as well. So again, not to take away from the benefits of walking and other exercise protocols, but for those individuals which don't have the ability, time, or maybe uh, basically other mitigating factors involved, this is an incredible, incredible way that they can achieve health benefits without literally having to rise or get up per se. To continue, and even if you can, the benefits still will help comp, I should say, uh, how would you utilize the word um, how, uh, adjunct? It's a wonderful adjunct to basically a, a heavy duty training uh, regime, uh, regimen, regime, regime change. All right, now keep in mind, the reason I'm utilizing that too, because you're going to see a lot of the strength of breathing exercises utilizing this device as you do your own research, also basically correlated with improvements in sports performance. But we're not looking at it from that aspect. We're looking for individuals that either do not have time or are not capable of going out walking and so on and so forth. But to proceed as follows. Even after six weeks, they quit doing the MIST. The MIST group maintained most of that improvement. I'm going to reiterate that because let, just to let it sink in, even six weeks after they quit doing the protocol, that group maintained most of that improvement. Amazing. To proceed, quote, we found that not only is it more time efficient than traditional exercise programs, the benefits may be longer lasting. Uh, to proceed, the treatment group also saw a 40, this is the part when we look at the, the chart prior, a 45% improvement, 45% improvement in vascular endothelial function or the ability for arteries to expand upon stimulation. Stimulation, simulation, and a significant increase in the levels of nitric oxide. Now, remember nitric oxide because that's going to hold some weight as we proceed forward. A molecular key for dilating arteries, preventing plaque buildup. Nitric oxide levels tend to naturally decline with age. Markers of inflammation and oxidative stress, which can also boost heart attack risk, were significantly lower after people did the MIST protocol. And remarkably, those in the MIST group, this is important because the adherence, especially for the medical professionals out there with patients, the adherence was at 95% at the end of six weeks. That is an amazing number to itself. But to proceed, quote, we have identified a novel form of therapy that lowers blood pressure without giving people pharma pharmacological compounds with a much higher adherence than aerobic exercise. No drugs, no long exercise routines. Again, not taken away from the benefits of aerobic exercise. Tons of benefits have been associated with it. But however though, this is an incredible, incredible benefit onto itself, which can yield a lot of people a wonderful outcome. But to finish and start to conclude, they believe they aren't certain, I should say, exactly how a maneuver to strengthen breathing muscles ends up lowering blood pressure, but they suspect it prompts the cell lining blood vessels to produce more nitric oxide. Remember, we covered that just a few minutes ago, enabling them to relax. So basically, this is the protocol that they utilized. Uh, this is the unit that they utilized as well. It gives you the how they did it five minutes the resistance level of it was 55 percent versus the sham group which is 15 percent and so on and so forth i'll have the links for you to this research study as well so you can delve into it on your own uh but still just the same uh the unit that they have under the methodology here is maybe a little bit pricey for some i don't know if the less expensive units are just as effective if any of the researchers uh familiar with the research the protocol want to chime in uh, or anybody else uh, that has experience with these type of units, please feel free to do so. 
I'm not looking for advertising. I'm just looking basically to help our viewer base to proceed as follows. Also, too, this is a study. And as we go down further, so you got to check it out. There is, it does so much, so, so much. And again, historically, a lot of basically uh, training programs per se, uh, always incorporated some sort of breathing exercises. This is going to elucidate, I should say, actually give you greater uh, priority or preference to those exercises itself as the benefits yielded just from short durational higher resistance and spiratory uh, muscle strength training is just literally awesome, totally awesome. But there is the new studies and the clinical implications for those medical professionals out there as well. And of course, as always, the full study, so you could, so it's linked and you can look into it on your own. And all I'm doing is basically introducing you to this research and you all can take it from there. Gratitude to the study, researchers, protocol, really, really cool. Um, again, uh, just amazing that can yield a tremendous amount of benefit, especially to those that could be bed bound, wheelchair bound, so on and so forth. Again, work with your medical professional in reference to that, but still without utilizing drugs or long exercise routines, it at least opens the door for fairly rapidly six weeks was the training uh, protocol in reference to the study, uh, seeing improvements, not only in cognition, blood pressure, circulation, so on and so forth. And where that leads to, I think the sky's the limit. Again, gratitude, thank you. Gratitude to the researchers. I look forward to see you all once again next week. And always very humbled that you watch. And thank you. And see you all next time. A long goodbye. Well, at least a long until we see you next time. See you then. Bye.